There was no lack of diversity among the Emmy winners. So what is it doing right that perhaps other award shows aren't? With me to discuss this now, a journalist and PR expert, Evadne Campbell, and TV and film critic, Rihanna Dillon. Is it a breakthrough, Evadne? And is, if, if so, is it one that you're happy with? It's really, that, that's a really tricky question, because it's the breakthrough, but I actually don't think it's something we should be celebrating. I really think that we have to acknowledge the progress and how far they've come and how many more people fr um, from a BME background is being at not, um, rewarded. But the first, several first, several history breaking in 69 years, I don't think there's anything mm. to celebrate in that. We really, they, and I think by us celebrating it, what we're doing is letting them off the hook yeah. and letting off a lot of the other um, award ceremony organizers off the hook by celebrating they've had their first um, Asian film writer, yes. the first African-American woman film writer. That's not, it's not good enough. Well, let me really. pick up on that. I think it's important to acknowledge how good an actor Sterling K. Brown is yes. for a start. Yes. But when you hear that this is the first black performer in close to 20 years to win lead actor in a drama, then you think, well, that, that can't be right, can it, Rihanna? No, and it is quite shocking, like you say, that it's taken all this time. I think, um, yeah, we talked about Riz Ahmed earlier, who is, I mean, he is fantastic in everything that he's ever been in. He absolutely deserves this accolade. And you feel like, is it taking away a little bit by saying he's the first Asian man to win an Emmy for acting? I, I don't know, should he just be celebrated as is, like other actors are? But also, here's the other thing about someone like Riz Ahmed, is that he's picking up an award in America, and a lot of our BAME talent feels the need to have to go over to the States to do this. David Oyelowo has talked about that, for example. What, so this perhaps reflects a mirror back on us as to what we're not doing here. Well, I think there is an issue, as we've seen just this week, last week, Ofcom's report about the lack of diversity in television in particular, and that there's a long way to go and a lot more that television um, producers and so on need to do. Lenny Henry has also raised this again. This was a big talking point some time ago about lack of diversity. Mm -hmm. And what we have seen, in fairness, is that there is a greater proportion of diversity on screen in what in what role, that's a different debate. But I think we've still got a long way to go in this country. Look, diversity is not just colour, it's, no. of course, gender as well. Yeah. And one of the big shows that did well is Big Little Things, a show I really enjoyed, mm -hmm. which has got, I mean, proper A-list Hollywood talent in, in Nicole are. Kidman yeah. and Reese Witherspoon. That's a turning point too, isn't it? Yeah, it's really exciting actually that we have Big Little Lies and The Handmaid's Tale, both, you know, very kind of strong feminist stories told from the perspective of women. And the fact that they are big winners at the Emmys, I think, says a lot. But considering, you know, if we're looking at British television, we're still kind of reeling from the fact that we have a female Doctor Who. It seems like we are not quite there yet. And I'm asking that question, why aren't we? Why are we always looking to the Americans to break those barriers down first? And hopefully, as time goes on, we'll be looking at the talent more than anything else and taking it in our stride. But we're not quite there yet, are we, Evadne? Thank you very much indeed. Good to see you, Rihanna, as well. Good to see you.